Let's go over the big names that might be coming back. First, Rizzo, when do you expect him back? Um, so he is uh, – Scott Afros has a live batting practice tomorrow that hopefully uh, Riz will be a part of hitting off of him. Um, if all goes well with that, tomorrow have a, he'll have another, you know, bigger work day. He had a good one yesterday where he, you know, ran 100%, took some ground balls, hit in the cage. Um, he'll have another, he- you know, pretty heavy workload day tomorrow. If that goes well, uh, Sunday could potentially be in play. Mm-hmm. Um and then I saw on the scroll on MLB Network that I said he'll be back on Sunday, which I didn't say. I just said it's possibly in play. Um, so if everything goes well, I would say there's a chance he's back Sunday, if not hopefully Tuesday when we start the home So MLB Network is trafficking in fake news is what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Harrison Bader. <laughs> Harrison Bader will continue to play this weekend, uh, and he could be potentially in play uh, when we start the homestand uh, also. Either either he'll play in another game or two on Tuesday, Wednesday in the minor leagues, or, um, or he'll be with us. But things are going well for him. All right, now relief pitchers. Efros, you said uh, the sim game tomorrow. Uh, you've got Chapman, mm-hmm. and you also have Britton. What are the possibilities of them getting back soon? Yeah, Chapman it will be back tomorrow. Um, Efros will throw that live BP tomorrow and then probably throw in a rehab game on Sunday and then be in play for us when we start the homestand as well. Britt still still got a little ways to go. He'll continue to pitch, uh, so I don't, I don't have anything definitive on that. Now, he- are you worried at all because all these people are coming back there are guys that have performed mm-hmm. for you. So let's just look at the bullpen. You you fashioned a nice little bullpen uh, out of the pieces that mm-hmm. kind of came up and, and next man up. You're going to have to send people down mm-hmm. that are performing well. Is that something that's on your mind? Sure. Oh, yeah. We, we we're, Hopefully, we're in a position to where we've got to make a couple of really, really hard decisions, um, you know, about who to keep, who not to. Um you know, based on getting more and more healthy. So, you know, that's 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 going to be something that's potentially very much in play for us over the next week. If Can Britain be back in time for the postseason? And what, what do you think his role could be? It, it's possible. I, you know, I've, I've tried to downplay that as much as I can just because of, you know, he's done so well. Um, you know, it's it's – it's coming back from from Tommy John, even though he had the brace put in. So and technically, that's that's why it's been a little bit of a shorter time. But you know, I don't want to. You know, I think it's possible. He's doing well, um, but we'll just continue to. to see. Now, one I didn't ask you about, DJ Lemayhu. That it's a mm-hmm. two-part question. So, if he comes back, would you still think about mm-hmm. having Judge and Stanton one, two in the order, or would? LeMay you automatically go up to the top. Oh, no, I'd consider everything. You know, I mean, we've got to see what we have with DJ. Um, but I've, I've loved I've loved Judge at the top of the lineup. Um, and, yeah, I'd, I'd be open to just about anything. And, and you know, DJ can get hit anywhere in the order. I mean, the biggest thing with DJ is just finding out where we are and where we can get to health-wise with him and, and, and just how effective he can be.